Hey y'all, this is Joe from St. Bernard Acres. I want to do a quick check-in with you. I know it's been a couple weeks since I got to put a video up. So I'd let you know everything's still okay as far as I can tell. Uh, it's been kind of chaotic around here and a little crazy. And winter has definitely set in. Um, and I thought I'd mention something. The reason this picture is up here. Uh, it, uh, a couple of years ago, I did a video response to somebody, and they talked about what kind of emergency heat you had. Uh, they wanted people to, to, you know, they wanted people to do a video on what kind of heat they had in an emergency situation. And I have these kerosene heaters. Um, when it gets like really like sub-zero weather like we're going to have next week I like to light, light one and put it down in the basement uh, to keep pipes help keep pipes from freezing and just add a little extra warmth down there because I have an unheated basement but they also come in very handy when your furnace goes out and that's what happened to us last week um, our own little mini SHTF situation, if you will. Uh, just It's an older furnace, and it finally just quit working. Um, it's gas. So we had to, you know, try to find a repairman. It's the busiest time of the year, and only to find out it really was not worth repairing, uh, trying to locate the parts. So it's time to put in a new furnace. And even in the cold, these kerosene heaters really do a good job. Um, I, I know I years and years and years ago, uh, experienced with kerosene heaters. They, they stunk the place up pretty bad. But these new ones don't. There's no odor. There's no... They just work great in my opinion. And they kept our house warm and they kept us warm. Uh, until we get a, a furnace installed. So that's one of the reasons I say, you know, you, you SHTF situations aren't like, you know, the world collapses or the economy collapses or an EMP or whatever. You can have your own SHTF situations. Uh, the furnace going out created two. The first S HTF event with the furnace going out was needing heat. Well, we were prepared for that. The second SHTF event is a couple thousand dollars for a new furnace. Uh, so <laughs> we had to get that. But uh, it's all good. I mean, you know, what else? What can I say? Uh, we were trying to save up some money, you know, to go into the cabin out at St. Bernard Acres, but. Instead, we'll spend it on getting a new furnace installed. And this coming week, this is January 27th, uh, Sunday morning. But this coming week is going to be like bitter. One of those polar vortexes coming through. And Tuesday night through Friday, it's going to be single digits and below zero for the highs. <laughs> Uh, and and the lows, so it's going to be a deep freeze for two or three days, so, you know, these things are going to come in real handy and have one down in the basement to try to keep it going around the clock. Um, you know, this is an old house. It doesn't have a, you know, like a basement where you put in a family room or something. It's just an ugly basement with a brick floor. Uh you know, so there's not any usable space down there. And all the pipes run through there, and I got to try to keep them from freezing. So that's how we're going to handle that. Uh, let's see. I also wanted to show you something. Speaking of prepping and stuff, I, I watched that uh, Facebook Marketplace thing. You know, yeah, you can always find deals on there. You know, some good, some bad. But I'm going to put a picture up and show you all this uh, mountain house and 
Backpackers Pantry food that I bought off of uh, the Facebook Marketplace. And it's all current stuff. It's not like this guy's had this sitting around forever. They bought it this fall, uh, this past fall for camping and never went. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. He also had a bunch of other camping gear uh, that he was selling that hadn't been used yet. But I had no need for any of that. But all this food I bought for $20. And <laughs> people don't believe I bought all that for $20. Here's the ad, uh, what I saw it on. And the funny thing is, it had been posted for a week at $25. I never saw it. Otherwise, I'd have bought it at $25. I wouldn't have hesitated. Um, but it popped up where I saw it was where it was one of those things where it lowered the price to $20. And I called him <laughs> or messaged him and uh, told him, look, I'm on my way. It's not hold it for me or wait. I'm, you know, it was only about five miles from me. So I just headed over there right then and gave him $20 for all that food. Uh, there's a few days worth of emergency food if I need it. And I thought that was a, a good score, uh, you know, to go along with, you know, stuff you find at the, the uh, thrift stores and flea markets. That marketplace is, like, becoming better than Craigslist. So, I don't know. I thought I'd share that with you. And we're going to try to get things bundled up uh, after we get through next week. Uh, polar vortex hopefully you know this spring the weather will start improving you know it does warm up the following week but again it's all rain every day there's a chance of rain during the warm-up uh, hopefully we don't have another year like last year uh, where we have rain every weekend and we can actually go out and get some work done but there is no going out to the cabin in this kind of weather we're not going to do that and with uh you know, our work schedule, we're not able to do it anyway. But I just want to let everybody know that we're doing fine. Everything's good. And we will talk to you all later. This is Joe from St. Bernard Acres. I'm out.